a civil society, the Nigerian Youth Initiative for Good Governance has called for the removal of the governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, Mr. Godwin Emefili, over the poor nation's economy under his watch. The group also accused him of incompetence and pitiable handling of monetary and fiscal policies which have worsened the nation's economy with proofs in inflation, weakened Naira, among other economic defects. NYIGG threatened to mobilize Nigerians to stage a protest in the next seven days if Emefiele fails to resign voluntarily. The call was made in a statement delivered at the World Press Conference by the group on Monday, signed by the group's convener and national coordinator, Adoyemi Lukman Obolabi on Monday. A copy of the statement, which was obtained by Sahara reporters, partly stated how a man who claims to be a renowned economist on inauguration as CBN governor meets the Naira, you know, the Naira exchange rate at 155 Naira to $1 and as at today is 570 Naira to a dollar. This shows that its monetary and fiscal policies are nothing to write home about. The current state of our nose dividing economy costs for the concern of all. The leadership of Nigerian Youth Initiative for Good Governance, NTIGO, hereby calls for immediate removal of Mr. Godwin Emefiele, the Governor of Central Bank of Nigeria, for gross incompetence, you know, gross incompetency due to his inability to save the Nigerian economy from further failure, as indicated through his inaptitude to provide variable economy, price control, he may choose to voluntarily resign because we will be left with no choice than to mobilize Nigerian masses that are at the receiving end of his failed monetary policy and financial mismanagement to occupy CBN until its removal is effected in the next seven days. The statement further read partly. What is your reaction to this that has been said? What is your own point of view according to this that we've had? The leadership of the Nigerian Youth Initiative for Good Governance has hereby called for the immediate re you know, removal of Mr. Godwin Emefiele, the Governor of Central Bank of Nigeria, for gross incompetency due to his inability to save the Nigerian economy from further failure, as indicated through his ineptitude to provide variable economy, price control, a strong Naira, and a stable exchange rate. What is your reaction to this? We would like you to share thoughts with us via the comment section. A society, a civil society, pardon, the Nigerian youth, initiative for good governance are all calling for the removal of the governor of central bank mr godwin emefiele over the nation's poor economy under his watch the group has accused him of his incompetency and pitiable handling of monetary and fiscal policies which have worsened the nation's economy with proofs in inflation Weakened Naira, among other economic defects. We all know how weakened Naira is presently now, and even the president of Nigeria has continued to borrow huge amounts of money 
of other currencies from different countries, of which Nigeria is running into more debt as it is now because a Naira is no more valuable and even the government of this country have continued to borrow huge sums of money from different countries, you know, using different currencies. Now, we all know how the Nigerian Naira is compared to the dollar of the US. Now, just imagine the amount of money the president is going out to borrow in billions of dollars, converting it to Nigerians in you know, Naira. You know how much you know the money is so the nigerian government is really putting us into debt and all these things needs to be looked into mr godwin emefili is said to have failed in handling the monetary and fiscal policies of nigeria he has been accused of incompetency and pitiable handling of the monetary and fiscal policies which has worsened the nation's economy with proofs of inflation and has also weakened the naira among other economic defects who would like you to let us know your own point of view to this that has been said or like you to share your thoughts with us via the comment section on this but before we go let's see people's reactions and know their thoughts about this let's see what people have felt concerning the present situation of things in nigeria Inamdi Alozi reacted to this and said, Though he's incompetent, but he is the only man from the South that remains in the Buhari cabinet. Let justice be done. It is only Mr. Godwin Emefiele. You know, he is the only man remaining, still remaining in the Buhari cabinet since he has been the president why not protest against president muhammad buhari while protesting against governor you know mr godwin emefiele pardon let justice be done that is what inamdi alozi have said what is your thought to this alexander uchi also said why are you protesting against the cbn governor instead of president muhammad buhari he is the current economic problem in this country. President Mohamed Buhari has contributed a lot in the worsening situation of things in Nigeria. So I think we need to get rid of the president first, even before thinking of how to get rid of other, you know, leaders in this country. Why protesting against the CBN governor instead of? President Mohamed Buhari, that is what Alexander Uche have said. What is your thoughts to this? Kinsley said, If you are protesting against the CBN governor that he must go, he must resign, then Buhari must resign too. What is your thoughts to this? Both of them have really contributed to the current economic problem in this country. So, if one is going, the other must follow. What is your thoughts to this? People have reacted differently to this present situation. We would like you also to let us know your thoughts to this. Don't forget that. We are still talking about the bad economy in Nigeria. And as we can see, mass protest looms if the central bank governor, Emifili, fails to resign in seven days. That is what the groups have warned. We would like you to let us know your thoughts to this. Thank you guys for listening. Do subscribe to this channel if you have not. And I will see you on the other news. Bye for now.